Hey, howdy, cowdies. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good Chrissy and all the rest of it. I hope you had a little bit of a break. We had two weeks off. It was nice. But now we're back. BIT back in town. Got a small auction this week because only, we've only had a week to set it up. So we've got about 200 lots. But we've got some more nice things. Very nice little Art Deco Piero uh, crumb brush. Lovely meerschaum pipe of a lady sitting down knitting. Got two really nice little sort of circa 1920s, 30s sort of fuel cigarette lighters. Flirtuki, little signed English art glass perfume bottle. And another one there, Lungard, I think, Starry Night. It's really quite nice with the stars, with a little crescent moon around the side of it as well. More Meerschaum pipes with animals and things like that. You got a nice bronze Buddha and another bronze Buddha. Nice Italian, um, I think French, boxed French. Um, really good quality little costume, jewelry, necklace and earring set. I've just forgotten the name of the manufacturer. But yeah, there's some other nice things in the jewelry cabinet. What else have we got? Really nice little mahogany, about 1880, give or take drop side table. He's nice little light stained oak coffee table or sort of little display. We've got the big sort of 1970s Don Shield sort of style coffee table, which when you open it up, there's bottle racks inside there to put your bottles of wine and stuff in that mirrored base, put all your glasses. So it's kind of a cool concealed bar, real good bit of sort of mid-century modern. This thing's pretty cool as well, an old inspection, sort of industrial inspection light. The big fluorescent tube in there, it's on a big sort of mobile weighted base. And it is adjustable, little height, you pull the little trigger up and down. And you can also spin this thing around as well. Really cool bit. All right, what else have we got? Some nice leather bound books. These are all nice old pages and engravings and illustrations out of Punch and London Illustrated, stuff like that. Some nice walking sticks. Got some great vintage clothing. Really nice sort of 1920s, 30s black silk um, sort of dress. Got some cool sort of 60s, 70s gear, some men's stuff. More sort of crimpling gear, leather jacket, couple of cool vintage men's suits. This grey one's quite a small size, like it's like a youth's sort of suit, but it's a three-piecer. This really nice sort of 1970s bat wing sort of gown kimono with a really nice little sort of summer frock. Um, some cool skirts, silk, Adele Palmer in amongst. Some more ladies sort of oriental jacket, another nice colourful summer frock. And this really cool little 1950s two-piece little party sort of frock there. It's got a little bit of stain, as you can see. But it's got a pretty cool little sort of shawly cape thing to go with it. Uh, nice collection of pictures, prints, paintings, some books, some ladies' clothing, garden gnomes and stuff. All the Batman, McDonald's Batman glasses, Hornsey 70s tea set. Big lot of sort of shell art and some other pictures and prints and stuff. Look at that. And parrot. Another nice little group lot with a Desimone mug. Nice 1930s depression glass. Nice bit of hand painted, I think, Titian over the back. I think something like that. Little retro scales. Um, those pictures were in the auction last year. Someone bought them, but they haven't picked them up as yet. A um, couple of boxes of tools and stuff. Some great little sort of picnic basket with some cool retro umbrellas and thermoses and stuff. Two boxes of mixed items, some lovely gear. It's a shame some of it's damaged. Little Victorian uranium glassy pern, but it's knackered. It's a beautiful bit of Victorian glass as well, but it's also cactus. There's a cool old tennis rackets, old little sort of fishing float, some nice cutlery and other interesting bits and bobs. What else have we got? Records. Two boxes, sort of Mikasa dinner set and some other gear, some nice lace, tablecloths and stuff, linen and lace, bags and accessories, big lot of tins, three boxes, just some cool old Arnott's ones and stuff in amongst. Anzac spirit coins, we've got some nice cutlery, there's some silver stuff in amongst, more Anzac coins, nice collection of tobacco, sort of smoking gear, pipes. Lighters, matches, 
more Anzac Remembered coins. Big lot of sort of rusty metal stuff and other gear. The little backpack spray is cool. I think it'll be copper. And he's kind of like this little bird in the cage sculpture thing. Uh, what else? Big lot of kids' toys and games and stuff. There's some Star Wars men in there and Babe from the Greater Union Theatres, the money box, books, figures, tin toys, some cool games, E.T., Three boxes of china in gear. Another nice collection of linen and lace. What else have we got? Little church pews, really nice. Little small sized one. Big group, lot about six or seven boxes of the mixed ceramics and other gear. Um, occasional furniture. Uh, records and a record player. Cassette tapes, two boxes full of them. What else have we got? Good little box of records and there's a nice little Australian puffing billy tin and some Hopalong Cassidy pocket comics. Tools and gear. There's a nice set of scales to go with that pan. Good box of kids soft toys and sort of little puppets. Buzz Lightyear DVD player and this really nice little sort of 1960s fan with that nice sort of pale green colouring. More ladies clothing and accessories. Australian and other pottery, nice collection of games, Monopoly Australian made, there's game boards in amongst their Australian steeplechase, Armsworth self-educators, um, eight volume set, nice little Morantz record player there with a the receiver, uh, Vanessa, I can't remember her name on the back here, Vanessa Charles, nice big Aboriginal oil painting, Honey Ant Dreaming. Uh, we've got some nice gear in here. There's a lovely little pair of Japanese beaded sort of slippers or sandals. Art glass and Victorian decanter. Some other nice decanters and EP and S. Good box of records, beetles and some other stuff in amongst. What else have we got? Nice big group of retro gear down the bottom. Hoadley's chocolate box and some sort of cool Bakelite and anodized and ceramics and other gear. Little mix lot of Victorian hand painted little part tea set with some other china. Little lot of English gear. Big Toby jug's got a little chip and been glued back on, but we've got a nice English watercolour and some other nice English ceramics to go with him. Uh, great big box of all the badges and all these cool magnetic fridge magnets, all letters and numbers. I hate Essendon, ABBA. The woods forever. Oh, pies. There's some cool stuff. Goofy. Ninja Turtles. There's an I Hate Melbourne one somewhere as well. It's kind of quite fitting. <laughs> Movie posters. Got some nice paintings. We've got some rip of paintings this week. Big Alan Wolf Tasker. <coughs> Oil on paper. Tidal River. This is nice gilt framed Alan Hicks watercolour. Uh, I've got some really nice oils by George Hyde Pownell, Pownell, Pownall. Uh, they've all got tight, they're all signed and titled. Um, this is, I think, what does it say on the back here? Westminster from the Savoy. This one's the Tower Bridge or the Tower of London from the Tower Bridge. And this one, I think, is Pink Sky, the Tower Bridge. It's a beautiful thing. They're all nicely presented in the matching frames. They're all signed and they've all got titles on the back. There's another couple up later on that are unframed that I'll show you. But they're just lovely things. He was a great painter, English artist, obviously, is from the subject matter. But he came out here in about 1910 or something like that, painted a lot of scenes of Melbourne at night. And they're really nice things. These are just really nice little examples like this Trevor Jones oil, it's called Moonlighting. A really nice idyllic sort of scene there with the man fishing by the moonlight. A little waterfall coming down. It's all signed and dated 83 down in here. And it's a lovely thing. Really nice bit. Um, Stuart, Mc Stuart McKenzie Cullen, Sydney artist. Really nice palette, unusual sort of tonal palette. Really quite nice. I think it's called the City Park. Pretty cool, the twin sort of bulb radiant heater. 
the animated Eminem telephone. And there's a bloody video clip, I think, on the website of it doing its thing. Nice mixed group. A lot of glass, ceramics, other stuff. Kitchen gear. Really nice little hand-painted uh, plasterware kookaburra lamp. Reckon you could get that paint off it and put some different colours on it if you wanted. These are a nice pair. Pretty sure they're Italian mid-century modern glass lamps. A couple of nice bits of anodized. What else have we got? Cool collection of all their National Safety Council posters. Broken rungs, broken bones. Near enough is not good enough. She'll be right, mate. <laughs> These are fantastic. There's two of the broken bones ones. Good reasons for wearing safety shoes. There you go. Resisted 16 pounds from four feet. Out oh, steel caps. <laughs> it is really cool. They've all got their National Safety Council stuff. Really nice little brass expandable 10 hook coat rack. It's got this really nice patina on it. Nice thing. Nice big panoramic Blue Mountains view book. Australian records. A couple of great bits. The Man from Uncle card game and the $6 million man jigsaw puzzle. A little collection of mid century ceramics and glass. The Talking Viewmaster gift pack. Really cool original 1960s um, framed pinup girl. And this is my favourite bit of the auction, the 19 sort of 90s killer python point of sale milk bar jar. It's got the big rubber snake on the top. He's fantastic. Tay Cock Way. It's a nice big intaglio print, Last Days of Glory. Nice collection of Japanese and Chinese charges. A couple of them have got a little bit of damage, but most of them are good. There's a really nice lot of three sort of eastern um, ebony carvings. Nice Australian flag with a book on Australian posters. Little mixed collection, architectural perspective for beginners by F.A. Wright. And you've got Bakelite and Mrs. Beaton's cookery book, which is in average condition, and some other gear in amongst. Another nice little group light here with this lovely little Victorian cup and saucer. Really nice EPNS sort of classical bowl. A couple of bits of the Grimwade's brownies. Lovely 12-piece fish cutlery setting. It's in great condition. Really nice 1980s Japanese hand-painted vase with this other unmarked sort of 70s one. Guy Boyd Ramekins. Kay Jensen Australian pottery vase, which is really nice. With this little sort of slab-built platter, which is signed with a monogram on the base. But the Kay Jensen vase is lovely. Davidson Clown Glass Wedgwood. Little group lot with the Melbourne Olympics tin. More ebony carvings, more movie posters. Nice collection of 45 RPMs in their carry cases. There's heaps of beetles and stuff in amongst. Victorian scraps. Little collection of animals. Some comical English ceramic cats. Nice pair of the alabaster fish. You can see that's been repaired across the bottom. And these are cool little Victorian luster sort of pigs. I think one of them's got a damage on the ear, though. And it might be sort of hands across the sea or something, which was something about 1900 with Australia and America or something like that. A uh, collection of Alessi items. Really nice Douglas Miller watercolour. I think it's at St. Helens in Tasmania. Good quality English china. It's a nice collection. A couple of bits of signed orifers. You've got this really nice little Lennox Art Deco style vase and another nice little perfume bottle. This is a cool bit. A couple of aircraft engine plaques mounted. The Pratt & Whitney dependable engines is a ripper. This thing's a bit interesting. The Wright Cyclone. Um, R3350, 36 dash or 36W, but it looks like the 6 has been punched over because that actual engine doesn't exist. So I think that's been punched over a 0, the 6. But really cool things. You don't see these type of things every day. Ferrari F50, so nice reference books on Art Deco Lalique. Porsche, nice little lot of coffee gear. More movie posters, some modernist design and neoprene bag. This is a nice lot. This is a classical Wedgwood Elton pattern. Got the nice classical Stuart crystal grape and vine. Little 1950s, 60s wall plaque. This is a cool lot. Mittergeg or something. Mitterteek. It's German porcelain. So you've got a nice little coffee set there. And you've got the cake set as well. All Every piece has got a different sort of vintage clock on it. Kind of nice English stuff. Nice little uh, Peritat book plate. 
Um, some Hornsea sort of novelty china, little log vases with all the animals and squirrels and stuff. Uh, Miles Johnson Australian glass, the Stevie Wright LP, a couple of nice bits of Grey's Susie Cooper, Easy Beats LP, great album. Down the bottom, I think Paul Gatt is a big Australian art glass bowl, designer lady's bag, and Geraldine is back. All right, there was an issue. There is damage on her head. I'll try and show you guys. There's a, sort of like a hole in it, or head's in half, and there's a bit of a hole you can see. All right, which is a bit of a shame. No one saw it in our last auction. All right, so now that we notice it, we sort of catalogue it as is, and we'll see what she does this time. She's still freaky as. <laughs> this is a nice lot there. Wedgwood Victorian Asiatic Pheasant. You've got the nice set of six dinner plates and a little sort of serving platter. Lionel Lindsay book plate. Crocodile skin bag. A Lassie modernist juicer. Another really cool little ceramic sort of 1950s wall plaque. This is another George um, Hyde Pownell oil of St. James um, Gate. A couple of little figures there meeting. She's taken her dog for a walk with the little guards out the front. A couple of nice Victorian rummers. Robe teapot, and this is my favourite, the George Pownell oil. I think it's just Westminster Bridge. There you go, it's got it on the back there, but it's got a bit of sticky tape still attached to it. A little bit of damage here and there as well, but I kind of think the damage almost enhances it. It's a really nice one. I like these little things, you couldn't tell. Okra, I think English art glass iridescent feathered, which is really quite nice. Really nice bit, Nefertiti, little carved onyx lamp, which does work, but you can see there's a little bit of a sort of damage there, a little chip taken out, but she's fantastic. Um, Waterford Crystal Salt and Peps. And we've got some cool stuff up the top shelf as well. We've got this nice Alessi Designer Coffee Perk. Got this really nice, another really nice wall plaque, but this one's composite, so it's like a sort of rubberoid or something like that. She's in great condition. This is a lovely Victorian copper tea caddy. It's got the nice little internal lid as well as the cover. It's got a worn out diamond registration mark on the base. Australian pottery. It's unsigned. It's got to be one of the Boyds. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Outer Circle Railway that used to come through Murrumbina right near their place. Ripper of a little thing. And that's a really nice bit of Art Deco falconware. Right with that really nice contrasting black, white, and green. Um, it doesn't sound great, but there's couldn't see any damage. I think this just heavily crazed, and I think it's sort of pretty typical for this type of thing. Um, we've got the fantastic little Australian mini espresso machine. Just needs your typical electric jug plug to go in it, but it's pretty good with the little handle and the filter inside. And this really nice sort of modernist Stainless steel tea set, coffee set, made by, I think, Wahai in Japan. Stainless steel, so you can see the teapot lifts off the base there. you got the little sugar and the creamer as well. Of <laughs> course, the creamer. There is a little bit of there's a crack or two through this black sort of rubbery plastic surround. Couldn't find out much about the actual manufacturers or the designer or anything like that, but it is marked Wahai, W-H-E-I. Japan. Uh, I think they're still making stuff, but couldn't find out much about this exact thing. But anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. Hopefully you had a good Chrissy and all the rest of it. And let's hope this New Year's a ripper. See yous.